Uh, do you know what the A through G requirements are? No. Hey Jasmine, do you know what the A through G requirements are? I do. You need to have completed geometry, algebra one, algebra two, um, four years of history, and English, four years of English. Hi. Good, how are you, sir? Good. I just wanted to ask you if you know what the A through G requirements are? The A through G requirements? Yes, sir. No, I do not. Um, three history classes, four maths, four English, four history, two <laughs> history, two science, two BAPA. Wrong. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the A through G stands for? No. Grizzlies, it's really important for each and every one of you to know what the A through G requirements are. Basically what they are is a set of core classes that you want to take to be college ready. And if you plan to go to college, any college, whether it be Palomar or UCLA or Cal State San Marcos, you want to go college ready, meaning you earn a C or better in your A through G requirements. Hi Grizzlies, I'm Mrs. Baker and I wanted to explain to you a little bit about why the A through G requirements are important. Um, the A through G requirements are important for you to consider while you're in high school in case you want to go directly to a CSU, which is a California State University school, such as Cal State San Marcos, or a UC school, which stands for University of California, so UC San Diego, for example. So the A through G are the minimum requirements to um, get admitted to those schools. Now, if you're interested in schools maybe outside of California, maybe in Arizona or Nevada or New York, um, it's important to work with us here in the Counseling Office or in the College and Career Center and we can help you research the requirements for those schools just in case. But even if you don't know exactly what you want to do for the rest of your life right now, it's totally okay. But um, especially the ninth graders, we're going to encourage you to strive towards these A through G requirements to keep your options open. Um, we do have a lot of fantastic students who are applying to some four-year colleges and universities and they're keeping their options open for the military and community colleges and that's all great we want to honor all of those paths but the a through g requirements would be really good to strive towards um, so that way you have some options come senior year if you do decide later on that hey you know what i do want to apply to cal state san marcos or something like that and so that's part of the reason why we promote these a through g requirements so much is because we want you to take challenging courses we want you to keep your options open um, as far as four-year colleges goes and we're here to support you throughout that journey as well.